Welcome back to New Day Northwest, where we celebrate and love everything Northwest. And the Puget Sound is such an iconic part of Western Washington. But what is happening underneath? And how does the answer impact the spending of millions of King County tax dollars? King 5 reporter Erica Zuko is here with me now. Now, you have been working on this really important series called State of the Sound. What is it all about? Well, it's really a team of our reporters and our photojournalists working on this together. And as you know, pretty much anybody that lives in Western Washington has some sort of stake in the sound, right. whether that's from an environmental perspective, whether it's economic. And so we're looking at a number of ways that different industries, different researchers are exploring the sound, trying to look at the water quality there, the health there, the environmental concerns, and also the opportunities that it brings us. It's so important that we protect this for years to come. Mm -hmm. and so so we're looking at a number of those factors right now. So we have five stories that are airing throughout this week, but this is really part of our ongoing environmental coverage. I, that's so good to hear because, you know, when I, you say sound, I think of these big cargo shipping containers and things like that. What are some of the stories that you've already covered? Right, so Sebastian Robertson and Matt Marzinski just had a story on Monday where they talked about whale sightings. They've increased, which gets us all really excited. Right. Nothing like seeing a whale. However, they've also had more issues with boaters getting close to those whales. Mm -hmm. So they went into the factors of why are we seeing them? What does this mean for their populations? And what can we do to make sure that we're protecting them while enjoying that wildlife? Absolutely, and I know that there are so, so many things that have to do with it. What are you most excited about working on right now? Well, one of the things that I was really excited about was to actually get back out with these scientists. We've had a couple years here where it's been tough to really see what they're working on yeah. in person. And we got some just really gorgeous shots that you're gonna see throughout this series. And you're really gonna see them up close doing this work. And they do a great job of explaining why they love it because they're committed to this place just yeah. like we are. And I'm really excited for people to understand some of the work that's ongoing and the ways that they can play a role in protecting Puget Sound. So what's happening right here that we're looking at? They're testing the water just to see the Right, quality. so this was a really exciting story. We went out on the Sound Guardian. It's King County DNRP's boat. If you, if it sounds like Sound Garden, <laughs> it's supposed to. It alludes <laughs> to that, so very Seattle. And what they do is they go out pretty much every two weeks to a number of locations and they're testing the water for all these different factors mm -hmm. so that over time we can understand how our growing population and the changing climate could impact the water and all of the environmental concerns therein. I love this. Now you came to King 5, is it almost a year now? It's almost a year, moved here from Texas. So totally different landscape <laughs> and I am just geeking out over getting to see the mountains and the water and obviously Puget Sound is a huge part of that. And King 5 has had a long commitment to environmental journalism. What made you decide that this is the field, the way you wanted to go coming to King? Right, well here is a great place to cover that. You have so much research going on. You have a lot of people who are really invested in the environment here and like we, we were talking about earlier, it impacts everything. Yeah. The economy, the recreation, and just what we love about living here. So it's a huge part of our coverage. Now, I know there's going to be some longer form pieces, but there's also a lot of day-to-day -day pieces that you're turning as well, right? Right. So this is the State of the Sound. This is a week-long series, but we are doing ongoing stories about water quality, about the wildlife there, and we would love for people that have ideas to bring them to us. Um, and really just on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll see that throughout our afternoon and evening newscast. We've been doing stories about invasive species, just really getting out with these crews and seeing everything close up. And I'm sure it'll all be on that King 5 Plus as well, where you can stream it anywhere, anytime. <laughs> what is the biggest thing that surprised you while working on this series? I think it's just how many people go into doing this work. Mm -hmm. um, how many people you would see out on this ship analyzing this data, how much work that it takes. But also what surprised me was that there are so many ways that we can play a role yeah. in protecting Puget Sound. Little things like picking up after your pets when you're near the beach or thinking about the chemicals you use in your garden. So mm -hmm. just little everyday choices that we can make to play a role in that. That's so great. Um, how can people, you mentioned have people share their stories. How can people get in touch with you? Right, well you can send them via Twitter, Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook, love story ideas. Um, you can email all of us and we have our emails on the King 5 website and we'd love to hear from people. And I think we got your Twitter handle right there, at Erica Zuko. Thank you so much for sharing yeah, this. Thanks Keep for having coming us. back and let us know what's going on in the state of the sound. Awesome, thanks so much. All right.